Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everybody, this should be fun. My Facebook friends and family, I give you content in these trying times. Actually, this is just tests for me. I don't have a dedicated cable in my house. So I'm on Wi-Fi, so that means Wi-Fi from a hotspot, not Wi-Fi from a cable, you know, in my house. And that's a big no-no in live streaming, so I'm going to see how this goes. When it's done and I get a recording of it, I can tell how fucked up it is by the audio. And I thought it's a good way to shit on people's beliefs on Facebook. I could just go around and check out what's on Facebook. I'm not sure if anybody even hears me, but that'll be interesting. All right, we have everybody concerned about the coronavirus. That's understood. Oh, by the way, it's 9, 12, 9, 13 p.m., 325 to 2020. All right. I'm not going to mention names because that would be just a little rude. But we have funny Facebook posts. I have a science. Uh-oh. Decades of data suggest parenthood makes people unhappy. Hmm. That can't be true. All right, there's more. I don't like this one. Even after my Facebook war, I still get bullshit on my timeline. But it's okay. People are wonderful people. Silly beliefs, no big deal. Uh, it got instructions on how to wash your hands. I don't see any on washing your feet, though. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, you gotta wash your hands correctly. No problem. Oh, police officers go grocery shopping for people. It's a heartfelt story. Liber liberalism. Uh oh. What did Trump do now? Thirteen deaths in a day, an apocalyptic coronavirus surge at a New York hospital, the New York Times. Ooh, let's see what this is. A fucking clown, always up to something. I wonder how I'll know if someone has a comment or something. Okay, is that what it is over there? I see write a comment. I wonder, does this show up or not? Let's check it out. Hmm, I bet I can get that on the stream. I'm gonna learn how to do that stuff. So I see by a live chat. Now the goal would be to get it in the window. Hmm. Anyway, I'll put this in the window. So, everybody will know I am at Addiction Master on Twitter. And on most social media. The Deadly Addictions channel is my YouTube channel. I made a Facebook page, but I haven't developed it yet. Looking into options. So, where were we? Ah, yes. Trump. So apparently his indecision, his buffoonery is responsible for more tragedy. Hmm. I would say it's mostly true with a tad bit of hyperbolic Trump mania. Although I agree he's a fucking idiot. It's just sometimes hysteria. I gotta learn how to pay attention to the OBS feed or the live feed. Ooh, this is a learning experience. 
Just in case you're tuning in, it's Facebook Live, the Deadly Addictions channel, keeping you entertained during the coronavirus outbreak. Wash your feet, people. All right. Hospitals in the city are facing the kind of harrowing increases in cases that overwhelm the healthcare systems in China and Italy. No shit. Several hours on Tuesday. Blah, blah, blah. Perform chest compressions. Da, da, da. All had tested positive. And they died. Uh, so these are cases where people are dying. A refrigerated truck has been stationed outside to hold the bodies of the dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. It's apocalyptic, said Dr. So-and-so. 27. Yeah, you're 27. You fucking little punk. Uh, across the city. Da-da-da-da. More than 3,900 patients have been hospitalized. Cuomo. This is interesting. There's a link there. Ooh, that means this might be a legit source. Hmm. Uh, well, he only offered hope. Well, it's not his prayer. We don't want prayer. Fucking stupid people. All right. So, trying to look at it on the bright side. On the well, I don't know if there's any bright side to this, but let's see. Working with the state officials. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. We're all trying to do our best. Elmhurst is at the center of the crisis. Okay. Uh, front lines. Hmm. More than 800, 1,800 intensive care beds are expected to be full by Friday. Because I could see OBS reconnecting. This is interesting. So this is the pitfalls of streaming live. The dangers of using Wi-Fi. I can tell from the stream window and the OBS that it was disconnected. I got to keep that in mind because one of the rules, uh, you know, rules, I'm doing quotes. If you don't want to live stream consistently with Wi-Fi only. Now, I'm guessing if I had cable in the house and it was a box and that Wi-Fi might be good enough. But when I'm looking at the numbers of... Um, you know, upload and download the video and audio, how much information is going. I'm sitting in the range where it seems to be okay, but because it's a hotspot and not a house Wi Fi, I'm wondering how many times I'll drop out. So, once again, I'm Facebook Live. It is 9 20 p.m. Wednesday, 3 25, the year 2020. All right. Yeah, workers at hospitals. All right, they're moving people around, trying to get the positions filled. Nurses. Um. Wow, using trash bags as protective gear. Hmm. Oh, ventilators are in short supply. We heard about that story recently. So, okay, blame the president, I guess. That's sure. That's fine. You should be a staunch leader ahead of the game, but he seems to be a narcissistic fucking buffoon. Well, I don't know. I, I gotta admit, I don't have a real informed opinion. I haven't looked into it or read in depth and fact checked everything, but let's assume he's an idiot. That's pretty, that's pretty fine. There's a funny thing that that's pretty interesting. This guy made this contraption while he's eating, and it's actually pretty funny. Let's look at the internet's top 12 coronavirus related questions answered. Oh, this is going to be such good content. This is what the people need. This is what I'm here for. Entertain you. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm hoping I come by someone's stupid fucking thoughts and prayers post. That'll be interesting. But like I said, after my Facebook war, I don't know if that'll happen. I don't even know where the fuck I look on Facebook to see if I'm posting. Like right now, I have no clue if this is even going out, so it'll be an interesting test. All right. Oh, I hate this fucking site. You know, with their pop-ups and their bullshit. All right. Yes, yes. We explore 12 questions. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the coronavirus? COVID-19. All right. Um... It seems the only thing spreading faster than the coronavirus is panic and disinformation. Ooh, that's interesting. We miss messages and conflicting reports according to blah, blah, blah. Okay, we got percentages. Okay. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses known to cause illness in humans and animals. In people, they are responsible for a range of respiratory infections, some as mild as the common cold. While more severe infections include the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. And we've run into that in the past, haven't we? This most recent strain of coronavirus is Severely Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. It gives a rise to COVID-19, the disease causing the current pandemic. It's fucking riveting. River. This new strain was first developed in Wuhan, China. Scientists believe it originates in bats and may have left to humans through an intermediate, likely a pangolin at a Chinese wet market. Despite conspiracy theories claiming the virus was engineered, no evidence exists such an origin. Now, in this article, there are links, many of them. So, we could check that claim and uh, see how valid it is so i'm going to open this in a new window which will cause everything to slow down and when you're reading these articles you look for highlighted words and they have links to them and you can see the studies and the test and try to at least determine what is real and what is fake so you don't post fake bullshit everywhere It may appear two to 14 days after exposure and include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. In children, the symptoms are reported to be cold-like. Hmm. That's interesting. And there's a link there too, which has plenty of links. A very good site. The CDC recommends immediate medical attention if you develop early warning signs, these include trouble breathing, confusion, inability to arouse, blue, bluish lips or face, or persistent pain in the chest. So maybe I should repeat that. COVID-19 symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure and include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. In children, the symptoms are reported to be cold-like. The CDC... And prevention recommends immediate medical attention if you develop emergency warning signs. These include trouble breathing, confusion, inability to arouse, bluish lips or face, or persistent pain in the chest. So I think what they're saying is most people could have it, be, be fine with it. It could be something they think is a cold. And that's part of the danger because you could have it and you think it's just little sniffles and a cough goes away in a day, two days, and you're still spreading the virus. But if you see the emergency warning signs, including trouble breathing, confusion, inability to arouse, inability to arouse, okay, bluish lips or face or persistent pain in your chest. Those are the things I guess you're going to want to look for and people you're worried about maybe. Uh, you know, signs that um, 
going wrong. Because like I said, you might think you have a cold and get over it, but those signs are seemingly important. Alright, I'm gonna fucking check this out because I'm opening other links to verified sources. You hear me clicking a lot. So if I'm reading an article, particularly like this, I'll take its word for it if I trust the site itself, which I kind of do. But since it has certain claims and I'm reading through it, I'm hitting the links to see if they go to verified sources. And you don't have to check those, but you can do the same thing on those. See if they're actual studies, see if they link to a legitimate page, so on and so forth. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so where was I? It is 9.28 p.m. 3.25.2020 and you're listening to the Dead Addictions channel. I am Addiction Master on most social media. Joseph F. Ulsus. And I think it's live streaming to my regular account. Okay. Inability to arrive. Okay, yeah, so that's like getting up, uh, hard to wake up, or children, you were trying to wake them up, older people, or even yourself, and you, find you can't get out of. All right, so I did that pain in chat. How many cases over in the United States, in my state? Checking the facts. Da, 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 da. Total of 54,000, resulting in 737 deaths. If you're looking close to home, visit your state or local health department websites. So I guess we do. when will the coronavirus peak in the U.S.? The honest answer, we don't know. There are too many variables. Some is unknown about the virus, such as seasonal changes, or why infected children rarely become critically ill. Epidemiologists don't know how many Americans have been affected due to limited testing, and there's a leg behind other countries. Ooh, and those are linked. Oops. Oop, that might be fact. It depends if a week from now we look like Italy or South Korea. That's fucking, that's just fucking awesome. Uh, okay, so we're playing it by ear. <laughs> you know, we're seeing how it goes and we won't know if that curve has been lowered. With no control measures, the U.S. could see 500,000 new cases per day by mid-May. April, May. <laughs> uh, fun times, man. Fun times. With some control measures, new cases could be restrained to about 300,000 new cases per day by mid June. Oh, well. The fuck is that? You got 200 and what? 30 million people in America? Gives fucking bullshit. If severe controls are taken, we could hinder the outbreak to a few thousand per day throughout the summer. Now, I guess that's planning for the worst and hoping for the best. See how that goes. So interesting, isn't it? Well, this is a good site. I uh, confirmed two of the links. I can't say exactly what those were. I don't want to go nuts. So I am live streaming to Facebook, testing my Wi-Fi. I don't have dedicated Wi-Fi, so I want to make sure before I go to YouTube or try to do it consistently that it's working well. All right. 
I don't know how well this will go over. I'm doing a little typing, a little bit of research as I'm podcasting or live streaming. What the fuck these are. So, we have an article. It's the 12 questions. We are going through it. I am Joseph Olsis, addiction master on Twitter and most social media. For a while, it's not going to be the way it used to be. Blah, blah, blah. Is the coronavirus airborne? Ooh, here we go. I've heard this debate live on certain communities I visit. There are conflicting reports that said the new virus remains airborne. As reported by Stat, and there's a link that could be verified. Studies suggest it can exist as an aerosol, liquid, a solid that suspends in the air under certain conditions and for a limited amount of time. Hmm. So it, for a limited amount of time, it can remain airborne. One study suggests the virus can drift for about a half hour. Another up to three, right? So plant for the virus. I think I saw this on Facebook. It spread around pretty quick. There's a study out there that gives you at least some information about how long it stays on surfaces. So we're looking uh, up to three hours in the air and up to a day in certain other factors for hard surfaces and cardboard is 24 hours and steel and hard surfaces might be 72. I'm not looking at that in info, but it's all over Facebook. I've seen everybody posting it. I think the answer will be an aerosolization occurs rarely, but never. You have to distinguish between what's possible and what's actually happening. Okay, well, fucking double talk. It may be airborne for a time. However, it mainly spreads person to person or through infected surfaces. Once the virus does come to rest, it can live on surfaces much longer than in air. It can linger uh, copper for hours, copper for a day, plastics and stainless steel for two or three days. All right, so I'm not sure if this jives with the other one, but it does seem to have the same information that I remembered. So we can live up to three hours in the air if you want to play it safe. Linger on copper for four hours, cardboard for a day, plastics and stainless steel for two to three days. Yay. Fucking, that's uplifting. All right, we're up to the fifth one. How do I sew a face mask? Oh, Jesus Christ. Generally, you don't need to sew a face mask, but there are many tutorials available on YouTube. According to the CDC, handmade face masks are not considered personal protective equipment on how well they protect. Hospitals uh, have donated. Um, there's a link to a certain respirator. I'm guessing that's a proper one or the one that, that professionals are using. So you could find that through this. It only recommends the patient care. So save those really good ones for patients who need it. Exercise caution and use only in combination with a face shield that covers the entire face. Hmm, so I get like a riot shield helmet, plastic or you know, see through plastic going all the way down solid, and then wear a mask. So I think what the gist is, if I remember from the community I'm part of somewhat, the masks that everybody is getting, even probably the good ones, are more for not infecting other people so it would stop your bloodlets your droplets your saliva your sneezes and make it safer for other people however most of these masks if they're even the good decent quality they can pick up airborne stuff that is smaller this is not a doctor legitimate stream i'm just giving some of my impressions of what I've heard so whether you wear a handmade mask is up to you but do so with a clear understanding of the limitations don't assume you're protected from coronavirus you need to take every precaution with a handmade mask that you would without one wash hands don't touch your face avoid close contact stay at home if sick don't assume adding additional filters or filtering materials improves protection there is no evidence to suggest this is true Finally, don't assume any hand mask, handmade mask came from a sterile environment. Wash it before use. There's a little bit of information. All right. What are the rules under 
Shelter in place. What are the rules on this show? I don't get it. Shelter in place. Okay, so shelter in place orders a public announcement to set restrictions on protocols based on public threat. It could be announced in response to mass shootings, natural disasters, pandemics. Uh, there are some conspiracy theories that uh, are a form of martial law. <laughs> You can see it being used for that, so let's not bullshit everybody. Shelter in place orders response to the coronavirus have been issued with social distancing in mind. Social distancing. Wow. I fucking saw a post that was just so me. It said, I don't want to brag, but I've been avoiding people way before the coronavirus. So that kind of sums me up, and I think close friends and family find that amusing all right exercise outside the house is encouraging people to keep their distance hmm okay so they're saying i guess you know you could go outside in your backyard or if it's you know you're not essentially near each other and do some exercise that might be a good idea uh, uh they're enforceable for example cities that violate it can be charged up to a misdemeanor, which could result in a fine of up to $1,000 and six months in jail. However, such enforcement presents a myriad of obstacles, cannot be thorough, and wildly would not look... Okay, so, basically, yeah, they could fucking fine you for $1,000, and you could get up to six months in jail. But they most likely won't happen. You know, it's like, yeah, you know what? In New York, weed is decriminalized. You know, that's good enough. You know, they're not going to get busted for it. You know, until you find a fucking asshole that wants to just make your life fucking hard. All right. I don't believe the people of California need to be told. Okay, yeah, well, all right, well, people don't listen. Do they have to be told? Okay, I guess there's a debate there. I guess it's like the vaccinations, you know. Get your fucking kids vaccinated, all right? And then eventually, does it come to a fucking law? All right, well, now you're going to force your kids to get fucking vaccinated, so. Such interesting stuff. All right. Let's continue as I navigate this wacky world of streaming from OBS to Facebook. Things seem to be looking good. I'm watching the numbers. I did see it go off in the beginning, but there seemed to be a course correct correction between OBS and my stream to Facebook. So it's interesting to see what happens when this is over, because I think what happens is I end the stream. It saves it as a, you know, it renders it. It makes it available on Facebook for people to watch as something that happened. And then I can download that and I can actually put it on YouTube as content. But I'd like to use it as an experiment and go in, see if those issues are noticeable, that I wouldn't feel comfortable doing this once a week, maybe more, and would I want to do it on YouTube and risk doing it there. So it's 9.40 p.m., TDAC, the Deadly Addictions channel. I am Joseph F. Alsis, Addiction Master on most social media. And I am providing, as a friend would say, banger content. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. All right. I was in the middle of doing 12 questions about the virus. Seven. Are restaurant grocery stores open? For the most part, yes. Shelter in place orders allow essential businesses to continue operating. According to the cybersecurity, da da da. There are guidelines, sure. Okay. All right, so basically they're saying the restaurants are open for takeout and delivery, but guess what? As someone in the field who part-time does deliveries, what happened was business went fucking crazy. I was so busy. Then, after they went from, I think they started with recommending 25% of the workforce stay home. It went up to 50. And when it went up to 50, it petered out. When it started getting to 75%, it's dead. So I'm back to being a slow business right now. 
So restaurants can operate, but they're not staying open. I have a pizzeria right by my house. People will know this Prince of Pizza. Good, decent pizza. I went to go pick up something from a friend who had a phone for me because my phone is fucking up. And I walk back. I, I, as I'm walking there, I placed the pizza. I said, look, uh, let me get a large pie. I'm going to be back in 10 minutes. I had to walk to four blocks. So I walk. I get the phone. I come back. I get my pizza. I come home. Next day, he's closed. The Prince Pizza is closed. So even services that you thought would help, because I thought that was a great you know, um, benefit. You'd have a pizzeria right here. I could walk there. I don't have to have them deliver. So I'm ho- but I think what's starting to happen is it's multiplying. So 99 cent stores, corner stores are closed. I mean, it's almost unheard of. You go on where I live, Coney Island Avenue, Avenue U, Briarcliff is closed, Prince is closed. I think the big franchises could maintain it. So they have enough of a takeout delivery. So there are stipulations, but restaurants can remain open for takeout and delivery. Can I be evicted during a national emergency? Ooh, foreclosures and evictions can still happen during a national emergency. However, agencies and state governments are taking steps to prevent an impending spike in evictions. Now, that just sounds like bullshit to me. That's like the other thing. It's kind of being fucking wishwashy. I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, okay, you know what? We could fuck you over. You know, we could foreclose on you and evict you. But, you know, most likely we won't because of the times. But that's bullshit. And that's why they flip out and they have to go make fucking laws, I guess. But I guess there's not a reassuring thing. But what are you going to do, right? So, yes, they can evict you for clothes. Just like before with the um, getting in trouble for um, breaking the stay-at-home rules in certain states. They most likely won't, but you know what? I wouldn't trust it. So, just assume, yes, they can foreclose and they can evict you. What jobs are hiring right now? Good question. Many businesses are shutting doors and handing out pink slips. Some companies are ramping up hiring, as reported. Um, GE Healthcare. Major retailers are hiring and short staff. Uh, these uh, drug stores, CVS, Walgreens, grocery store change, chains, uh, Amazon, and Walmart. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, we got some of these questions answered, and I see rabble rouses are in my chat. Don't pick on me, people, all right? I'm doing a service. I got banger content. I stole that from a friend online. This is banger content, okay? This is... What is needed? The masses need this. I don't know. So, look, that's rude, okay? You can't just insult people because they're slow. Don't use the R word, all right? Because that's like, you can't do that no more. I, you know. All right, so I see people are listening and can hear me. I'm sure they would say things like, you're too low, or we can't hear you well. Instead, they're fucking dancing, and it looks like they're going to get into a internet fight. This is awesome. Jimmy's got to be careful, because Justin keeps his distance and might wear him out. But if he gets his hands on him, that's it. I don't see fucking much happening. So, 9.46 p.m., the Deadly Addictions Channel. Talking about the coronavirus, 12 questions people ask, and I think I'm up to nine. Jobs are hiring. Yes, I just explained what they are. Ten, when are taxes due in the U.S.? Oh, 
shit. On March 21st, the Treasury Department Internal Revenue Service announced an extension for federal income tax filings. The new date is July 15th. I will repeat, the new due date is July 15th, giving Americans an extra three months to pull off their, to put off their filing their taxes. All right. <laughs> Okay, yes, 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 same thing. You know what? Yeah, you might not get in trouble for not filing taxes. You know, you know, the times are hard, but if we want to, yeah, we'll fuck you. So, no promises on any fronts. You can be evicted. You could be fucking fined for breaking the rules. And apparently, you can be in trouble with the IRS. 11. Who will receive stimulus checks? I know everybody's tuning in now. As of this writing, no one. <laughs> uh, on March 24th. Okay, they voted against it, but then they got a new one. I don't know if this is going to explain that. But um, according to the bill, it will provide a recovery rebate for individual taxpayers in the form of 1200 refundable tax credit. $1,200. $2,400 for joint payers. However, the rebate phases out as the income goes up. Yes, uh, I noticed Justin earlier. I can watch the numbers. I was disconnected and reconnected. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm testing just to see how good the Wi-Fi is. I've been streaming for 37 minutes and 41 seconds. So thank you for that. It's good to know. Keep me informed. I'm going to listen back and get a idea of how bad it is. And when it renders it, does it smooth out the dropping in and out? As long as my volume is okay, we'll see what happens. All right. So, yes, you can get a $1,200, 24 for joint payers. However, it phases out. It phases out at 75000 for individuals. 112,000 for heads of households and 150 for joint payers. It lessens the rebate by $50 per additional 1,000 earned. All right, so you need a fucking calculator. So get your calculators out cuz they can't give you a fucking straight number. So, let's repeat this. Get your abacuses out, your fucking pencils, whatever. So, you will get $1,200 refund, 24 for joint payers. However, it phases out as your income goes up. So, the phase out begins at 75000 for individuals, 112500 for heads of household, and 150000 for joint payers. It lessens that rebate by $50 per additional 1000 earned. The rebate faces out entirely at 99,000 individuals and 198,000 joint payers. So, if you make under 75,000, I think you're good. You're going to get a nice check, 1,200, 2,400. We're good. If you make over $75,000 for an individual, you will lose $50 for every additional thousand earned. And if you make over 99,000, you're screwed. Joint, 198,000, you're screwed. So, there you go. That was question 11. Yeah, he better leave. I don't want people start in trouble here. This is a nice family-friendly chat. Wholesome content for people who need it in these trying times. I mean, stop. This is ridiculous. Don't make me fucking jump into that chat again. Because I don't know how to fucking type in it. I can't find where to comment. And I keep. I don't want to fuck this up, so... I don't know how to comment on this fucking window. It's fucking amazing. So I'm watching people and I won't, I can't figure it out. So instead of distracting myself, I don't get it. Okay. Oh, okay. I see the bar now on the right. Right. Okay. I found it. I think. Grr. See that worked. 
Yeah. Okay. So I I have to pull the bar down through everybody's comments, and then it see write a comment. All right. So I'm learning. Nine fifty two p.m. The Daily Addictions Channel. Your host Joseph F. Alsis. I go by Addiction Master. Providing you content in these trying times. Number twelve questions about the coronavirus. Are U.S. senators in quarantine? Senator Rand Paul did test positive for the coronavirus while he's in self-quarantine today. He did not quarantine himself while awaiting his test results. He interacted closely with other senators and reportedly even took a dip in the Senate swimming pool. (laughs) Oh, shit. Now we know how he looks so fucking. Isn't this going to look good for his age? I don't know. I think that's the one. There's one of these fucking nutters taking some shit. So he fucking took a dip in the Senate swimming pool before his test came back. That's fucking genius. Oh, this fucking Senate. I'm so happy to have senators like this. It's, oh. Because of their interactions with Paul, senators, blah, 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 have also entered self-quarantine, though they're not showing symptoms. Senators, blah, 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 and blah, 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 self-quarantined. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Despite these absences, Congress remains in session as of this writing. Uh, There are many other questions, so I'm sure there'll be another 12, maybe maybe more. All right. They recommend to get your information from the CDC's coronavirus website, which I'm going to copy and see if I can paste it and see how my skills work. As a podcast, uh, are growing. All right. All right. It looks like it posted. There's a little delay. I got to get used to it. I mean, you know, OBS is real time. And the Facebook stream post is like 30 seconds behind. Is that why you fucking motherfuckers were saying you slow? I think you just make fun of each other, but. All right, so we have a link in this podcast where they recommend you go get your information from. It also says local health departments and reliable news outlets like NPR, the New York Times, and Wall Street Journal. You see, that's bullshit. So it's kind of makes real skeptics and people a little fucking wacky, I admit. When you say get your information from the CDC coronavirus website, fine. But then you promote garbage fucking outlets that obviously have propaganda and lies. So take it with a grain of salt, people. Stay healthy, stay safe. And so the article ends. We have just gone through the 12 questions with the coronavirus, giving content to the people who need it the most on Facebook. We are the Deadly Addictions channel. Smoking weed, giving back to the community. Got my vaporizer, my fucking bowl ready. And I am providing a service that is much needed to our great country and to my small section of Facebook. My friends and family and my fake friends and family and the haters and the fucking deluded, loving fucking whack jobs all over the world i'm wondering if like, yeah i guess there's a method for people they can go into like a facebook search and just search for live streams like if i was going on youtube and i just wanted to hear so, something live you can just search for live and it's like part of the tools or the filters and you don't have to see anybody but i'm wondering because facebook is more friends family oriented is it easy for a live stream like this to be picked up and i think there is because I think when I look on my Facebook page, to the left, I see watching, or it can't be, maybe it's live, I don't even know, I don't want to check now, because it bogs everything down. I have, two, four, six, eight, I have ten windows open, OBS running, a real player, so I'm really pushing it, see how effective the stream could be. Watching my numbers, and it is 9.56 p.m., 
Wednesday, 325-2020. We have just gone over 12 questions of the coronavirus. And now I will go back to Facebook if it loads up properly and I will scroll down. All right. Edge of the Milky Way may be a lot further than we thought. Interesting. You know, get new math to get a new studies because science is always trying. They're always trying. All right, Rob. Thank you very much. Thank you. I saw that. All right. Uh, edge of the Milky Way guy. Okay, so there might be wrong. We have, might have wrong calculations on how far the edge of the Milky Way is. So that's interesting. It doesn't change the fact that there's no God, that science rules, but it's always correcting itself or trying to. How to stop school shootings without gun control. <laughs> ah, shit. Thoughts and prayers, maybe? I don't know. All right. Oopsie. I wonder how much my clicking is coming over. I've tried to set the fucking filters on OBS to cut out the sound, but it just makes me sound robotic if I get the clicker out. So I wonder how annoying that'll be. I got to get a silent mouse. I bet they make those right. Yeah, I think I've seen it. All right. Feast your eyes on the most detailed image of asteroid Bennu yet. So we've got the highest resolution map of any celestial body humanity has ever produced. That's cool. And what's this? Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. I've seen this. I used this before. Hold on. Let me show you guys something. Um, I was getting ready just in case people called in the show. And I just passed by a post that I saved and took the art from to see if it works in case he calls in or joins the show. So let me show you what I picked for my friend Rob, who helped out a lot on my book. I published a book in 2012. All my friends, all several of my friends did all the artwork and chapter narration stuff and the art. This was one of them. Helped me a lot. He's got a uh, demon wear from Zazzle. And we have a little delay. It's probably not showing up, but I don't know if my voice is delayed. You know, so how does this work? Okay. So, that is what I would probably use for his avatar if he calls in. Just showing he does artwork. It's pretty cool. I'll leave it up for a while. So I'm scrolling down my Facebook page, providing much needed content for the people on Facebook, my friends and family, those tuning in and providing a service much needed in this trying times. No applause. I don't need donations and things being mailed to me. It's not that time. Help old people. Wash your feet. All right, that's a cool pick, Demi. The birds flying. It's like a music video. That's pretty cool. Another one I don't get the meaning of, but okay. Another one. New York is converting its main convention center into a thousand bed hospital. This is provided by a source I trust. He's been in the chat. Ten PM Wednesday, three twenty five, twenty twenty. You're listening to the Deadly Addictions channel. Your host is Joseph F. Elsis. I go by Addiction Master. Yes, I am going over my Facebook feed. This article is presented by a friend who's in the chat, will not be named in case he gets sued. And under normal circumstances, New York's ja Jacob Javis Center would be a bloom of exotic flowers right now. Its exhibit halls will be bustling with enterprising florists and horticulturists for the World Flower Expo. Yeah, and guess what, fuckers? My friends are losing money. This is their work, their job. But okay, I get it. You can't have people gathering. It's fucking tough. What are you going to do? All right. 
You fucking correcting my time, motherfucker? Yeah, I guess I have to look at settings. Maybe uh, Facebook has a longer buffer, so maybe I'll stay away from naming the time, but good call. Good call. Let's look. All right. So there's supposed to be a flower show. My friends can't work. That sucks. Today, the 1.8 million square feet, 170,000 square meters, conference facility along Manhattan's far west side corridor looks like a military op center holding supplies and protective equipment for medical personnel. And within a week, the cavernous space will be transformed into a thousand bed medical station for non COVID 19 cases. Staffed by over 300 federal workers, as Governor Andrew Cuomo explained in the briefing. And this article has plenty of links in it. I'm not confirming them. It bogs the computer down right now. But that is a good thing. I don't know who gives a shit me want to thank. Yada, yada, yada. The medical station at the Javis Center is being referred to will be an overflow hospital for treating patients with non-coronavirus ailments. Four separate 250-bed facilities will be erected on the center's various exhibition halls to relieve overcrowded hospitals in New York City, which are currently dealing with over 115,000 possible cases for over 7% of its population. A figure that's rising fast, and there's another link. A famous spokesman told Quartz that the Overflow Hospital will have served people with special health needs, including those with chronic health conditions. All right. Unlike, there's a joke in there somewhere. It's like coronavirus cures school shootings, right? I guess that's how it works. We could write that script. We'll get up to it. Put it right down on the index card or something. I'm too busy. My mouth's getting dry. I'm drinking fluids. I'm smoking weed. And I'm fucking podcasting for 52 minutes and 55, 66 seconds. It is 10.04 p.m. Compare that to whatever time your actually is and see what the fuck happens. All right. So, describes the architecture of the temporary hospital as flexible and scalable. So, they're using this space, flexible, scalable, you know, where they could put their equipment in. It looks like it's been done well. I can see the blueprint. It has this article, has plenty of information. The links to it go in depth into others. Good article, good um, information, technically. All right, blah, blah, blah. The recent upgrades will provide use of transitions to medical facility working with the Chicago based engineering firm. Uh, uh, they're going to put new let- lighting systems, medical systems, and they're going to revamp it as this progresses. And they've made it very versatile and adaptable to scale up if things get worse. Very smart using a big place like that, except you better be giving my friend his fucking stimulus package because. His fucking job is gone because they can't gather in the Java Center. A couple of my friends. Maybe more than a couple. Maybe several. The way I'm thinking right now. In 2017, the center began another round of renovations to further expand its ex- exhibition capacity. So it was always going to be expanded in some sense. And it's going to increase the floor area to 3.3 million square feet. 307,000 square meters. The additional facilities at the Java Center could increase to 2,000 beds, as Cuomo suggested. Will help divert traffic from New York's overburdened hospital system. But the governor says he's looking for other viable facilities within the city. There is a the wing, a chain of co-working clubs geared for women, has offered free access to 70,000 square foot of space. There we go. New York is coming together. Uh, so-and-so, healthcare director, what you want to do is decant or direct the less acute and non-COVID patients away from the current hospital. Okay, so they're smart, you know, you got everyday people getting, going to the hospital for everyday things, and the paranoia is going to up that. You can put them out to these smaller places and not overburden people. Sounds like a plan, Stan. And it's good that the Java Center is access to transportation. So it's a good spot 
convention and shows by the nature required to move large amounts of freight in and out i guess yeah so they're saying it's a perfect spot in a way because it's used to having trucks pull up put large things in and taking up and down lighting and constantly rearranging its structure to accommodate um certain shows so it's a very versatile adaptable place sounds like a really good plan to me thank you for the article he's one of my sources i won't name him all right Uh oh correction at the bottom is a correction a previous version of the story noted that the number of confirmed cases in new york was over twenty five thousand. that's the figure for the entire state at the time of publication the city's figure was over fifteen thousand. it has been updated to reflect that but please note too that the number is continuing to change so there was a little bit of a discrepancy where numbers were being touted and it was the entire state but when people refer to the city new york city it's a different number all right that was the second article thank you very much my unnamed source a reliable went to school got his degrees in journalism and he now works for free for me it's fucking awesome okay there's another article man who died on bus china in china test positive for hunter virus wow we got more viruses people yeah, that's one of been around. There's a little bit of a misinformation on that. All right, what do we got here? Let's go and see what else we find on Facebook. Yeah, that's fucking right, Conrad. You don't get your news from TDAC. You don't get news. Well, I'm risking my health, my wonderful lungs. People don't give me respect. I'm smart. All right, so you fucking people on Facebook are just fucking ridiculous, but I'm not going to name them. I could start a new fucking war, but these are really good people. They just, you know, you have to decide, you know, who the fucking people with the stupid beliefs that you have to confront and who's not. And they're welcome to come in the chat and tell me to go fuck myself, but it's fun. They probably, you know, do one of those. Yes, we got a five minute delay. So maybe I should just get, all right, so I'm going to try it. You ready? 10, 15 PM, TDAC, Daily Addiction Chronicles. Your host, Joseph F. Olsis. I'm addiction master on most social media, and I'm bringing you, we got to think of an American next. I can't use Demi's, that's just banger content. That's like British. All right, we got to do some bitching content. Oh, no, addicted, yeah, something with drugs. Uh, addicted content. So, 10, 15 p.m., 325, 2020, bringing you the important news, the content people need in these trying times. I understand why no one's coming on with me. I get it. You have sensitive, very, very, security, high level security jobs. You cannot be associated with my buffoonery. So be careful out there. All right. So we got another fucking maniac here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. And what's this one saying? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, this is what yeah, you get the bullshit. They try to make you read it and at the end go, oh yeah, da, da, da. this is not real. It's just like you, you go fuck yourself. Because I don't read it, so fuck off. And your guilt shit don't work either. So I give no fucks. Um there's a new friend I met on the interwebs. Humanity has so much potential. Gah. Listen, cadet. Get your shit together, all right? I'm going to laugh at your comment. Oh, laugh, not like. I need to laugh because then people don't know if I think they're being stupid or I'm just joking with them, so it's a little more. All right, I posted a upload to YouTube earlier. I see that on my feed. 
Thank you, Rob, for sharing. Anybody wants to check out my YouTube, it's the Deadly Addictions channel. And I gotta say, my previous podcast with my co-host, Justin, at the Drunken Monk, is the best so far. It's Greyhound. It's fucking hilarious. Highbrow, top shelf content. All right. Mount Sinai researchers developed tests for coronavirus antibodies. Ooh. Is this someone I usually stay away from? Because there are certain people that are off my three stupid rule list. So usually when people post three stupid things, I usually tease them and I say things. This person I keep is off grounds. I do have limitations and not really much, but I don't like, you know, I don't want to get yelled at. Ah, the benefits of a mute button. All right, getting the vape going again. If anybody's curious, I'm going up to 405 degrees for a nine-minute session. This is mid-grade weed. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. And vaporizers always make it taste better. But I am at 405, and I am raising it five degrees for each session. And it's heating up now. All right. Bowl has to be gotten. That's right. Figure out your time delays. Write it down. Document the data. This is important shit. I need to know all this shit. I got important content that people need to hear. This is important news. Yeah, how about you fucking refresh, man? I mean, now you gave me information that was faulty. You're one of my sources. Refresh your shit. Oh, man. I'm fucking docking his pay. This is ridiculous. Where the fuck is Steve? Someone get fucking Steve on the ball. What's going on here? No, that's because Justin convinced me to go five minutes ahead because he didn't refresh. So I went five minutes ahead when I should have went two minutes and a half ahead because you didn't refresh. So how about we all refresh? I say the time and then we see how delayed we really are. All right. So my two only fans. How do you want to work this? You guys go. Refresh, refresh. When your second refresh comes in, whoever goes first and second, I will say the time. So whenever you're ready, I'm getting my bowl ready, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Bringing you addictive content. See, that sounds better than I'm stealing someone's words they use. Oh, I just figured out how to see which, how many people are watching. I'm fucking a genius. I see the eyeball next to the live. There's two people. And I guess those are the two people in my fucking chat. Is it getting fucking hot in here? Fuck, man. Give me a second. That's right. Highbrow content. I said it. Top shelf. Banger content. I'm stealing that from a friend. She's going to get pissed at me. She's a fucking bitch. She's going to fucking get me good. Question my content. I got like 60 fucking eight videos up now. What am I at? Let me go check. Stop putting these people in their place. 
How many fucking videos am I up to? How much content do I have on my fucking site? That poll is brought to you by TDAC. If you're not getting your news from the Deadly Addictions channel, you're not getting news. How was that, Jim? Is that good? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Man. All right. So, I got 30 fucking subscribers, bitches. Don't be jelly. All right. Sixty nine fucking people. Sixty nine videos. Highbrow content. Highbrow content. Steve doesn't want to use duct tape, okay? So that's the fucking issue. Can anybody hear that fucking thing starting? I didn't want it to start. Sure you can, right? Yeah, it's the beginning of my show, baby. All right, I was just checking. 69 videos. Highbrow content. Three videos a week. Unparalleled in quality and performance. All right, we're going back to Facebook now. Refreshed. 10.18 p.m. 325 2020, the Deadly Addictions channel. Your host, Joseph F. Olsis. And okay, so a couple of seconds that seems right, but I got to see what you hear. That's what's important. So, what did you hear me say? And all right, I'm going back to Facebook for my incredible content. All right, we have a woman recently died from an infection no U.S. antibiotics could beat. I don't think that's really a first, though. All right, there's a Puri 5 vaporizer ad, which I will gladly endorse it's the only vape i use i've had it for years it is the best pound for pound vaporizer company out there meaning yes you can pay more and get better probably quality but for the money you pay to the product you get puri five sponsor me i'm fucking here give me free fucking shit my friend kicked the table and broke the glass thing if you're listening puri five I'm your man. All right, who wants to see my boss's fucking ads? I want to fucking see that. All right. No, I give no fucks about that. Oh, look. The Deadly Dickens channel is live, na is live now. Holy shit. He's live. Did I take that? Did I take it off? What did I do? That's weird. How did that happen? Did Rob's pick ever come up on the screen? Do you see like a little devil on the screen, red, with pitchfork? I'm wondering if that's uh, being refreshed or causing an issue. So let me know if anybody saw a uh, little devil pitchfork guy on the screen next to me. I don't see it on my rendition of the stream where I'm reading the comments. All I see is me with a blank space to my right. Anyway, I'm missing this incredible content. All right. 
No, I'm sorry. Your peanut butter posts are cute. I don't care. Uh, yes, certain establishments are allowing people to walk up through their drive through window because they fucking complained the first time and acted like idiots, so they should have been fucking embarrassed. They were. So then they said, you know what? We can't just bust people's chops who are walking up to our drive through window because they don't have a car because you can't eat in the fucking place and they're truckers. Fucking people, you have common fucking sense. All right. DNA study traces the homeland of modern humans to the Makadikadgadi or Kovango wetland. Right? In case you didn't hear that. The Makadikadgadi of Kavango wetland. That is amazing. Okay, so I'm guessing the stream is doing its thing. Is I got to figure out the delays. But I haven't seen anybody mention if they see a red devil on the screen. A little red drawing Rob drew on Facebook that I put on the screen. Does anybody see that? Because it should be up there, but it's not up there. I haven't changed that setting. All right, I see people are not answering my question, so I'm guessing it's not on the screen. Hmm. Let me try something. All right, I am experimenting with things as I have passed an hour mark. I've been streaming for an hour and 12 minutes. And I am now just trying to figure things out if I want to pull things up onto the screen. So now I put Rob's picture back up. All right, everybody. I am messing around with Facebook, streaming from OBS. I'm checking out my Wi-Fi and seeing how many times I get disconnected and how stable it is. And I've been bringing amazing content to the Facebook community, friends and family, and maybe strangers who are finding a stream in these much needed times. Rob's pick is still up. Thank you. Affirmative. Thank you. All right. Well, I took him off and put him back on so he might disappear. All right. So that worked. That was awesome. Now, if I could figure out how to get your live chat in there, that's going to be the last thing I want to try. So, <clears throat> Let's see how I would do this. Let me do window. Let me see if I can do window. And I want to get the live chat on the stream. So how would I do that? Ba ba ba. Okay. Hmm. How do I fucking do that? Let's see. Uh, I am now probably not talking enough for people who are listening. And it doesn't matter because I've got two people. I think I saw a third person come in. So hello and goodbye. Hope you enjoyed my wonderful voice as I stream in my isolation. Right, I got to figure out how to crop this then. Oh, wait, can I pop it out? Post a sticker. All right, if anybody's wondering, I am trying to see if I can get this chat window in because I'm not familiar with this setup. All right, how do I do that? I can get my whole window up. That's not the issue, is it? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I might have figured it out.
Are you kidding me? The fucking window can't get any smaller. You gotta be, you know, this is fucking stupid. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm distracted, I am trying to figure out how to get the live chat window onto my stream. And normally on Facebook, I'd probably be able to get it easier. But I'm having a hard time figuring this out. I don't want to put the whole stream within the stream window, so I'm trying to figure out how to just get that little part. But no, it just doesn't want to fucking go. All right, so that didn't work. I thought I could. No. All right. Well, that is some testing I will have to work on. If I could figure out how to make its own window, I'd probably be able to get it working. Because there is a way to pop out chat windows and move it in. So I am being distracted from my amazing content. I was going over my Facebook feed, going over important stories, providing people the necessary content they need. All right. Oh, wait a second. Come on, where did I see that feed? Right, so I'm scrolling up my content again. I have been. Oh, there we go. All right. How do I oh, do this? Now? Everybody, it is ten thirty-two p.m. three twenty-five, twenty twenty. You listen to the Addiction Channel, the Deadly Addictions Channel, and I am your host, Joseph F. Ulsis, who is distracted because he's trying to get the chat window to work in there because I think it would be cool, but that could be doxing people. Ooh, I just realized that. What if by putting people in the chat, they go live? Oh, shit. I think we have to stop this. Okay, I get it. All right, I'm holding off. I just realized the error in my ways. It could be a mistake. So, I will just go back to being an idiot. Don't know how long I'll keep this up for, but I've been streaming for an hour and 18 minutes, and I want to see what Facebook does with the rendition of the video, how much the interruptions and the cutoffs and the stutters are smoothed out in its rendering of the video. Like I've explained before, I am on a Wi-Fi, and I don't mean Wi-Fi from the house. I'm on a Wi-Fi from a hotspot, so I don't even have a cable box in here. This is a Facebook Live test, bringing you my wonderful voice and amazing content. Does anybody see the new Facebook invite? I'm afraid to fucking hit it. Keep saying you're invited to try the new Facebook, which means this is going to be Facebook thing that is going to be implemented anyway, right? I am going to keep speaking because the page fucked up. I can't tell if I'm live. I can't tell what's going on. So let's check that out. It might reconnect me. I'm not sure. All right, I'm still looking. I don't see the page refreshing fast enough. I'm going to assume that I am not streaming live, but I saw a glitch type hiccup. I've been streaming for a while and now it's trying to reconnect. So you might hear me come out of nowhere. Maybe the stream went down. Maybe it's back up. The page that I was monitoring is down. It hasn't come back up, but OBS is saying it's connected again. So, welcome. Thank you for joining me. 
I am Joseph F. Alsis. This is the Deadly Addictions channel, bringing much important needed content to the Facebook community. My friends, family, and anybody else who finds this circus that I'm performing, and it's not letting me know I am live, so yay. So I'm just going to keep pretending like I know I'm live and just my two fucking friends are just blabbing in the live chat for some reason. I can't tell. I'm getting no feedback because I can't see no windows. Everything is fucked up. I think that glitch really did a number on me. I kind of got booted off and everything had to kind of reset. So this will be an interesting test because I don't know if anybody hears me. I can't tell. All right. I'm trying to do the, I got to go four minutes ahead, I think, when I want to call out the time, but. All right, it says I've been, okay, I see it now. Thank you very much, everybody. I am streaming for an hour and 26 minutes and 16 seconds, so it's actually continuing. So even if I am disconnected, yeah, I have, I know, I have a second screen. I can see the chat. I have it separate. I understand computers and how it's set up. I'm wondering, I want to put it on the live chat, the actual stream, because when people are watching it, they want to full screen it and they want to see their co the comments come up on the live stream. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You sure we're not in the matrix? But I just thought about it. I don't want to put you in the live chat because you're, I don't think I'll be able to hide your names and stuff. So I'm going to avoid that for now. Why'd you dox me? Bro. Bro. Come on. You just doxed me. This is fucking ridiculous. I got doxed already. All right. All right, everybody. I am Joseph F. Alsis. It has been revealed. Yes, I am the famous author who in 2012 published a book, The Mushroom King, book one of the Deadly Addiction Chronicles. Yes, that is me. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, now when I get fucking fans gathering around my house, breaking the coronavirus shit because they desperate to see me and I got to fight through paparazzi and shit, I hope you guys are going to be the fucking bodyguards because... No one else is going to fucking help. Alrighty, but for some reason I can't. Oh, okay. All right, I'm getting used to this a little bit. All right, I can get it. I get it. So what is the auto quality okay so max is 720 okay so 720 is the max someone can view it at i'm watching it at 360 so it doesn't bog my computer down excellent all right we have two people watching and i bet that's my two friends there i did see that go up once in a while so someone uh, somehow it's being picked up Maybe Steve will be able to get away from his kids, use duct tape, and he'll be able to join. 
If anybody wants to Facebook call me, you can get on the show. And you could have the honor of speaking to the famous author. Just putting that out there. Yes, we are. What is that? Are you posting spam in the chat? I better not be porn spam, guys. You know? Trying to do a family-friendly podcast. Content much needed in these dark times. To provide entertainment, information, reliable news, and stories, and witty, wisecracking, authentic Brooklyn to you live. (laughs) Oh, shit. I ain't fucking clicking it, okay? Not fucking clicking it. How do you do Facebook calling? What are you, fucking five? You go into the chat windows that we use to say stuff to each other, and there's a little fucking icon on top. All right? Click me in your chat window like you're going to say something sexy. And at the top, there's a little icon for video calling, and there's a little phone handle. And it's the phone handles we remember from when we were kids, like the real phones that sat on the thing. So you'll be able to recognize that because we're the same age. Then you hit that, you'd Facebook call me, I'd answer it, and then I'd put you through the mixer and you'd come on live. Now, that's how it would work technically, but I'd probably fuck it up. But that's the theory anyway. Who, yeah, right. I've been asking that every fucking Thursday for like the last couple of years. And this window fucks me up, though, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. I know what I did. Oopsies. Oopsies. Oopsie. Got you, motherfucker. I got you. It looks like we might have a first time special caller to the show. I will see if I can get this to work. I'm going to need Justin to verify. If he hears it, but I'll confirm it. Hi. Yo, yo, what's up? It's Conrad Edison calling in at PBHD. Welcome, Conrad. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Oh, but the stream is like fucking off. Yeah, you would want to put headphones on or mute the stream. Because there'll be an echo. Yo, yo, what's up? It's Conrad Edison calling in at PBHD. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta mute the stream and um, hear me? we'll put headphones on. Yeah, man. You don't want to be listening to the stream and just think of it like we're on a phone call. That's it. Mute the stream. Are you still hear me? Or? Yeah, I hear you. But just mute the stream as if now you're just on a phone call. You still you. hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, I just muted. The so you know you're around? live now, right? Justin, can you hear him? How is this? Yeah. I gotta wait for Justin to confirm. Justin's yeah. not giving any feedback. Yeah, because he's fucking drinking something. He's probably swigging a fucking cause 24 rounds or something. So how you been, Conrad? Everything okay? <laughs> he's, he's, he's swimming already. 
Everything's good, man. Uh, he says good sound on both of you. Good sound on both of us. Okay, so I know what settings are pretty good now. All right. I've done this a couple of times, but not live, so I can get embarrassed by all my friends and family who are actually listening. How to take a piss. Dude, it's called a fucking water bottle. Empty Snapple <laughs> bottle. This is fucking work, dude. This is what we do. You play hard or go home. He's such an amateur. Fucking yeah, man. right? I mean... Did you hear that podcast I had to do with him? Fucking, I had to keep steering his back. I got to admit, though, I had, I said, in, if you listen to my last podcast, one of the funniest moments is we're doing a podcast on Greyhound, and it's you can go look it up. It's like the last one, one of the last ones I did. And, um, you know, Justin keeps appearing off course, and I got to keep fucking course correcting him, right? You know how it is, right? You know, so, so anyway, I go, yeah, look, look, I steered his back in. It, it's a boat movie, right? So, so he go, so all you hear yeah. is I go, yeah, he course question. He goes, oh, he does the horn from the boat. <laughs> you got to listen to it. It's, it's our best podcast ever. I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. Definitely our best podcast. So this is a third person here. I guess I could see the icon. <laughs> but um, welcome to the Daily Addictions channel, Conrad. You want to sign a copy of my book? Oh, it's um, good to be here. You want to promote yeah, anything? Uh, you want to promote anything? Anything coming up? Any tour dates or anything? No, I, I don't understand. Like the guy comes over, kicks your table, and breaks the glass piece of the thing, and he's still allowed to come over. I don't understand how, how that happened. Well, no, see, that was the uh, another. Friend. He's giving you. That wasn't this friend. That wasn't Justin. That was a different. Oh, friend. I thought it was. No, that was a friend. I haven't. I'm not naming oh, okay. now. I, I think you should still blame it on Justin anyway and not let him over the house. Oh, I did. He was drunk. He didn't know. I just blamed him anyway. But sure, yeah. <laughs> so what, you, you were doing this for an hour already before I even came on? I've been, right now it's been an hour and 36 minutes and 32 seconds. 34, 35. I've been trying yeah, to build so up. I, I probably was here for an hour. I was, um, I'm trying to build up my, uh, stamina because I was doing all the tests and at around the 40 minute mark, my throat starts hurting and starts giving me issues. And a lot of my podcasts you hear that I record, I started noticing, uh, a, a sound of like I was drinking constant fluid. So I've just been trying to build mm -hmm. it up and doing practice runs. So this is like another pa practice run. And I also want to see about the Wi-Fi because I have no problems recording stuff even if i get a camera eventually i know if i record something it's just going to be recorded and then uploaded live streaming is what's bothering me you know i'm going live with a wi-fi signal and that's a no-no you know you're not supposed to do that because you might get lucky a couple of times get a good signal but i have a bad night and people depend on me on the wednesday stream i'm just making it up you know, so you don't want to. I'm just okay. testing it out. So Justin is making me a little bit angry now. I have to clear something up. You said it was 10:18, and it was 10:22 on both mine and Justin's clock. He thinks that you are ahead of time. Meanwhile, you're four minutes behind because it took four minutes for us to register. You saying 10:18. And now he's saying, I don't understand time in chat. Can you fucking smack him in the fucking chat? Okay. Since this is my show and I have to moderate, the rules are you cannot disparage a respected member of the community unless he's here to defend himself. So you can call him a coward, you know, that he's afraid of you, that his claims have no valid stance. But we got to hold off, you know, insulting him too much because he's not here. He's in the chat, though, but the fans well, can't got, You got the information. Yes, I have the information. I'm noting it down. What do you think it is? Are you behind? Well, okay, if you factor in you time and space. Or are you time and space, the earth is moving, the rotation of the earth. I kind of see what Justin's trying to say, but. Well, then I can't talk to either one of you. You're both wrong. You're behind. The stream is behind, which means you are. Well, yeah, that's what the definition by delayed means. Yes, 
That is confirmed. There is a delay, so delay would mean but, I am behind. But at, at certain times, the chat is up, uh, like like instant, like live, and uh, the sound is behind. I don't understand what's going on. Well, also, I think we got to keep in mind. Um, I was for for half the time. I've been guessing four minutes ahead. Mm. So for I oh, said, like when you do, but. The whole time before you guys got here, I was just doing the time. Then Justin said there was a time discrepancy. And when you confirmed it, I started saying, okay, like right now, I would say it's 10.54 p.m. But you would say it's 10.51, right? Uh, right now, 10.51. Right. That's what I got. What do you hear, Justin? What time do you have, Justin? It's 10.51. Because now that you're on a phone call with me and you're not pay, you're not looking at the stream, yeah, we're all we're yeah. together. So I think it's a thirty second delay with a up with a stream up delay. So I'm guessing, like you're guessing, it's around a two to four minute delay behind. Yeah, Justin Just confirmed we're in real time. Okay, so it probably okay. So this is what happens when you have Wi-Fi and you're streaming because it's not consistently and strong. It's trying to make up for the information. So I think what it's doing is it's taking its own buffer, rendering it to go live, and that's what's causing a delay. So if I have a strong signal, I could be in real time. But mm. if I don't have a strong signal, it's waiting to gather enough bits to keep it smooth. I think that's what's happening. But I'm sure the dozens of my fans that are out there could chime in and let us know if we're right because I haven't been into my theoretical physics and stuff in a while and time and space that connected and all that shit. So I don't want to bore my uh, fans with my intellectual prowess, you know? All right, kids, chill down, chill out, children. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this funny? First live stream, and you're the one who comes on. That's just hilarious. <laughs> and cowards out there. You're afraid to face real claims and inquisitions. All right. I'm wondering if uh, people are checking in and looking at the stream that aren't affiliated with my friends list. Because I think... You can search Facebook. I was explaining this before. Like, if I want to go to YouTube and just hear someone who's live streaming, you can just search live. I'm just wondering if that shows up here. Or I guess if you are following me, you're getting a notification that I'm live. I don't know. I'm going to try it maybe through some of my web pages, like my book page. Yeah, it was up to yeah, five. I can before. just to see how many. I think you could look at the window and see. I think anybody could see. Yeah. But you'd have to look at the window, which... Yeah, like I have my, everything's on my TV that's streaming and my OBS is on my monitor that I have. So I have two um, monitors technically where I'm streaming now, but in the kitchen area, I'd have up to three if I wanted to, or maybe four. But right now, yeah, I'm using the TV for the stream and the monitor for my laptop. Still one computer though, so it's a little bit of a bog down on it. To be practical, I'd want two devices, you know, one streams. So if I want to do gaming, it's just that computer. And then the other one would be just monitoring stuff or the OBS. So have you been out of work because of this or increased work? How does that work for your occupation? Well, initially increased work, but uh, has been um, there, there are 20 cases actually uh, of, of the virus and one person. He's on the ventilator right now, so I'm on a quarantine. It spiked for me because I'm in the delivery in industry, right? So once it was only takeout and delivery, I got so busy. You know, I do it part-time. But after the second yeah. time they recommended people to stay home, I think it went down to 50%. That's it. Places just started closing. So now I'm slow again. So I think the panic set in, you know. People freaking out. By the way, Prince Pizza is closed. Briarcliff is closed. That's insane. But not, not, not for good. And it hasn't been Briarcliff since we're kids. Uh, right? Yeah, it'll always be Briarcliff, though. Come on, Sal. 
<laughs> I don't even know what it's called, man. Yeah, right. It's probably. I think it's called like um, I don't know. Is it like an Optimo now or something? Maybe like Optimo Eight or something bullshit. Yeah, something like that. And this is an easy way, too, for the core people who help me with the show to do things together because it's in one place. So let's say right now you're driving around, you want to join the show, you might have to use Skype, depending on what your phone has. But your phone does have Facebook also, and you could use that messenger. And everybody's on Facebook here, so you're still in one window. Yeah, I picked it up on my phone. Mm-hmm. There was five people in here before. They're going to be anonymous. I don't want people associated, you know. As soon as people see you're fucking here, they all, anybody on my friends list that shared, they're going to be blocking you and unfollowing, but still remaining friends. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't want yeah, the, yeah. they don't want my toxicity spreading my negative aura and blanketing them. So it is 10.56 p.m., the Deadly Dictions channel. I did not have something ready for you, which sucks balls. I have a graphic ready for Justin, Steve, Rob, a couple other people, but not you, because we've made it clear that you I wouldn't get you on the podcast. So I don't have a fucking thing to throw up for you, and all that's showing is Rob's demon, right? So I want to take that off, because people are going to think that's you, and... Yeah, uh, you, have, you have one for Justin? Yeah. The Drunken Monk, the one we do for the uh, uh, trailer reactions. Oh, okay. Yeah, where do the guy's drinking the mug. I don't know if I have anything. To, I think... Oh, oh, what the fuck? Why are you What would you say? Uh, we got, we got um, Briarcliff is quick stop. Oh. Yeah, I got sources too, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, but your source is verified? Uh, okay, I don't think so. Mm, you have to verify our sources, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think on Twitter you were the dragon. I think before you were the dragon. Uh, this might be a mistake. Okay. Yeah, thanks for the uh, visual data. My sources gave me a fucking image and a pic. And if it's the same source, you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Photoshop. That's doctored. I don't believe it. I want, I got to fucking reverse engineer and find out all the information on that pic. It's ridiculous. We can't do fake news here, guys. This is the Deadly Addictions channel, where news is real news, or it's not news at all. What the fuck did you say before? <laughs> hey, you're not getting your news from the AC. You're not getting news. Yeah, see? There you go. No news is good good news with Gary Gnu. That's the same shit. All right, I got to find a dragon pick. The dragon pick. That's what I was using for you on Twitter. So I don't know. I don't have Grand Forest ready. Motherfuckers. Got me. You got me. You got me. I can I can type in okay, I know what I can do real quick though. Hello, let me let me see if this works. Not, not prepared for me, huh? No, who else who who's ever prepared for you, Jimmy? Come on, let's be real. Alright, yeah, okay, so we're gonna call it okay. All right, then we're going to go with, I don't want to give you a girly font. I'll give you the same Kung Fu font, whatever the fuck it's called. All right, give me a second. We're going to have banger content. She's going to kill me for stealing that fucking phrase. Jesus Christ. All right, so... All right.
right, let's see how this works. I don't have an image, but I can do this, I think. What about the um, school part of the job where they're training you? Is that closed? <clears throat> Is that closed, Jim? Yeah, what would that be? I was wondering if the training aspect of the job is closed, like the school part. Yeah, well, that's right. Nice. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I now put on the screen guest Conrad Edison. Yeah, now now the chat is on. All right. I have been streaming for an hour and 50 minutes and 18 seconds. It is 11.01 p.m. Have you washed your feet? I'm switching between coffee and soda. And the coffee's cold. You say coffee? I never heard you drink coffee. Good observation. You win points because um, uh, Burton had an apartment that someone vacated and he was getting rid of stuff. I went up there, I picked up a water, like an electric kettle, and they had this big glass thing of coffee. So I did some research and I was finding out the cognitive benefits of coffee compared to tea, which because I like tea more. So I was like, okay, well, this is interesting. Looked about, looked around, you know, the myths and benefits of the heart, you know, what's bad for you about coffee. And I said, okay, let me try it. So I tried it. And then what I noticed is if I use a flavored creamer, you know what I'm talking about? Instead of like, you know, to have all these flavored creamer stuffs. Yeah. I don't have to put sugar in it, which is different from tea because I always put sugar in tea. If it's three for a small cup, you know, five or whatever. But with coffee, for some reason, all I need is a flavored creamer and I could drink it with no sugar in it. So because of the cognitive benefits that are different from tea, I've been testing it out with some writing and doing things. So I've been drinking coffee every once in a while. But good observation. Yes, I've never drank coffee in my life. You win a prize. Can you see your name up there now? Yes. Yeah. Our chat is delayed again. Oh, the chat window? I can't see nothing. I mean, I'm not. I'm trying not to pay attention. Boy, we got a... You said hi to somebody. Who was it? I think you said hi to Chris, I think, right? No, I'm saying that my voice chat comes in behind you. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what that'll, you know, because like I said, I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm not sure what the stream is trying to do to keep it smooth, so. But why would you say, hey, Chris? Who would you say, hey, Chris, to? Oh, no, because I, I, I got a notification that he joined the, the chat. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I didn't I didn't get nothing. I don't see it. I'm trying to avoid unnecessary windows and stuff, so I just have normal yeah. shit. But I am trying to push the limit, so I now have one, two. I now have twelve windows open, twelve um, internet tabs, and all associated with what you're doing. No, I, I I got a couple of music things up. I got a Joe Rogan podcast up. I'm trying to see in the mm. heat of the moment, I turn things on. I don't get a chance to reboot my computer. I don't get a chance to, you know, do anything. What are the conditions going to be? So I said, fuck it. This is me just making believe, you know, because the next one I do, I'm going to reboot, do a clean, don't keep nothing on. So this was just a real test to see, hey, you know what? Right, well, I'm just in the mood to turn the mics on, no stress, and 
just stop blabbing. How would that work? And I purposely left a certain amount of windows up. I'm trying to see what the computer can handle. So now it's just you two. I don't know which Chris it was, so I don't know if he was my friend too. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's just us, you know. Um, me and Justin again, I think. But um, so this is going to uh, stay saved on Facebook as a like a recorded video, or it goes away as soon as it's up. That's what I think I chose. Yes, because now what this could be is content I upload to YouTube. So that's the goal. Yes, it was mm -hmm. once once this is over, it ends it. And then it renders it. It could take a little while, right? Depending on the platform. Then when you scroll Does that bomb the shit? No, because that's when it's only when it's over. Only when it's over. When I end streaming from my OBS. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. it'll show up on my feed like I posted a a video or I posted a picture. It'll just be on my feed that people can hit and hit play. Now, I also chose rewind so when you're listening live, someone can go back. So there are options I chose mm -hmm. that I am not really testing right now with you guys. I'm just trying to see how much I could talk for a certain amount of time because, like I said, my problem was all the tests I was doing, after about 40 minutes, my my voice would bother me. But I seem to be fine now. I got up to about a, an hour and a half. I got a couple of people who helped me on Discord. You know Discord, right? Yeah. It has great voice. Yeah, this one. Right, so we'd go into... um voice chats and you can stream from there too so i've been practicing that i have part of a community a couple of communities and people help me out getting my discord up and okay here's a question go ahead can you have multiple phone calls at once because uh justin said he tried calling in right oh okay so maybe i'm on the phone he can't call in no no okay so hold on since you're calling with me you might be able to do it like call him? Right, you might be able to include him in call. Mm. Yes, so you would have to, or I might be able to do it. So let me check one second. I'm, I might be able to do it too, but that's the option you're looking for because that's what we had to do in a couple of tests. We got, because we had already established a podcast and Rob called, and I was like, what the fuck are we doing? And we figured out someone okay. else to include him in the call. Because he said he tried to call and he said that you were already on. Yes. Okay. So if it's me, then it might have to be me because we haven't we haven't nailed this down. So let me see. I'm gonna hit Justin like I'm gonna talk to him. And on top, what does it give me the options? Oh, it says I missed the call. But I wonder, hmm. can I include him now? There's an include. I can't figure it out. All right, where's my call with you? I gotta find that first. Okay, I think it's because I'm in the call with you. You called me though, right? And I answered your call, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right. Yeah, first time caller, long time listener. There you go. All right, this is the one that I think I'm looking for. All right, give me a second. Do I get a T-shirt? Of course. All right, so here's the window. Air group members. Oh, shit. Hold on. I don't know if Justin could hear this, but. I am now calling another guest. I don't know if he's answering or if he'll hear us or if he has everything set up, but we have done a test before. Hello, Justin, are you there? You hear him, Jimmy? No, he's not in the no, room. He's showing up in the call now. I can see his back. Fucking kid's got a picture of his back, Jimmy. <laughs> Just all I hear is static, but I see your ring circling and glowing. Hey, so 
all static, just. Nope. Even more static. Can you hear me, Jimmy? Yeah, Justin left again. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, just making sure. If you're listening, just is a cog wheel on the right. You might want to confirm and match up your mic and your speakers. So you want it to come over your headphones. Just going over a couple of things. Because when you open this window up, Jim, where I called you, you can even do it too, where you can confirm your microphone and your speakers, like where you want it to come out from. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a settings tab, like a little cog wheel. Sure. Well, we tried that and it failed. That's what we do at the Deadly Addictions channel, bring you highbrow quality content. 11, 11 p.m. All right, so at least we figured it out. I know how to do it now. It's always a matter of whoever calls in that window, we have to add group members. So as long as we remember that, and that makes this easier, right? Because let's say he was on Skype. That might be an issue because I'd have to get that different mm -hmm. feed in. But since we're all on Facebook, that means Rob can call, Steve can call, mm -hmm. and we can all bullshit and chat, you know? All right, so let me check out the chat window. Is he saying anything in it? I haven't seen if he's trying to say something. Mm -hmm. I missed his uh, trying to call me fucking thing. Yeah, he said he tried it. No good. I guess that was my point. Yeah, I tried it. No good. Okay, I see that. That's the last thing you see? Okay, so we're off the date. Get your shit together, okay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> We only did like one test. All right. So it's been uh I'm out. Steven. All right. Thank you for joining us, Conrad. Yeah. You're welcome. Anytime you see me live streaming, let me know. Just say hi, join in. All right. Buddy. Best of your family and everybody. Hope everybody stays healthy. Wash your feet, okay? <laughs> Wash my feet. Yeah. yeah. All right. Talk to you later, bro. Thank you. All right. We have hit the two hour and two minute mark. Live streaming, TDAC, the Daily Addictions channel, bringing you much needed content in these trying times. I think that'll be the test for tonight. I'll end it here, and I'll say to everybody, stay healthy, wash your feet, keep away from people, I guess. Treat each other with love and respect. <laughs> Who gives a shit about your silly beliefs? Ridiculous beliefs can be ridiculed. So on and so forth. Truth over feelings. 